All right, it's Monday morning of Christmas week. A lot of people have the week off. Sitting here at South Shore Marina near Chef Pass, and we're just waiting for the rain to pass. Kind of an odd thunderstorm just sitting right over our area. Uh, it's kind of slacked off a little bit here, but waiting for it to pass to head down the ICW and fish that Chalmette Wall area. I tell you what, that area has been on fire. Fished it last weekend, caught a whole lot of fish, and it was a whole lot of undersized fish. And I got to tell you, there was a ton of boats there. Everybody was catching fish, though. Hoping to have a little bit less pressure today, even though I know it's a holiday week. There's going to be a lot of people off. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as it was last Sunday, but I cannot wait to get back out there and fish along those MRGO rocks. Really, really good action. We'll see how it turns out. All right, look, we're fishing out by the Chalmette Wall. We're actually tucked into the Michoud Slip. Not another boat in the whole Michoud Slip, and the fish are here. Now, I'm going to give you two secrets to having success here in this Michoud Slip. I just caught this beautiful fish. Short and stocky, I'm going to say he's probably about three. Very, very heavy fish for his length. Two keys. You want to fish a much lighter jig head than you would in other areas. I don't know why that is. The fish bite better here on lighter jig heads. I'm fishing a quarter ounce jig head. I got this uh, Kamikaze Vortex Shad. Something else you want to do, you find bigger fish closer to the rocks. You don't get as many bites, but they're bigger fish. The smaller fish are a little bit away from the rocks. Where we are anchored right now, we're in 16.8 feet of water. Some of the fish we're catching are actually toward the middle of the slip, but they're a lot smaller fish. The bigger fish definitely are closer to the locks, to the rocks, excuse me. Now you do want to drag your bait really slowly. Water temperature right now is 60 degrees. You would think you could give your bait a little bit more action, but right now they're biting on a very, very slow, steady retrieve across the bottom. So I'm gonna put this one in the uh, nice chest, take him home, eat him for dinner, and we'll see what else is out there. Now I gotta tell you, it's a different bite out here. These fish are hitting best when you just slow retrieve the bait on the bottom. No action at all, just steady, slow retrieve on the bottom. It's barely a keeper, but uh, hey, it's a nice and mix, some beautiful fish in here as well. Nice fish. All right, I made a slight change. Went with the Miralor 52 MR. Just caught a beautiful trout. Now the way you, you fish these in this deep water, it's really challenging. You gotta get it down. You almost got to have it resting on the bottom and you just twitch it up and let it fall back to the bottom and twitch it up. Our last trip out here, I caught a bunch of fish in here fishing this way. This is the first one I caught today fishing this way, but uh, probably won't be the, be the last. Boys, fish are really tattooing this Miralore 52 MR. Again, you got to get the bait on the bottom. You get it on the bottom, you just twitch it up and let it fall and twitch it up and let it fall. And when they hit it, it's nothing pretty, nothing subtle. They smash it, they rip the rod out of your hands. Really, really fun way to fish. It takes a lot of patience, it really does. You've gotta let that bait fall back down to the bottom. If you get too eager, the bait's gonna rise up and it's not gonna be in the strike zone. These fish are dead on the bottom. Don't know why with it being 60 degrees, but that's where they are. That was close. As you can see, this is not the biggest trout in the world. However, I made a switch. We were fishing up closer to the rocks over there, but uh, we'll throw back. I made a switch, cast in the deeper water. I did put on a 3 8 ounce jig head. We were using quarter ounce up against the rocks, and uh, it's so deep, it's like 30 feet, so you really gotta let it fall all the way to the bottom. And I was just barely jigging it, and he smashed it, so hopefully we can get a few more. Well, I tell you, something really important for feeling these bites on the bottom, particularly when you're using a light jig head, is fishing with braid. I've got 20 pound suffix on with a 15 pound mono leader. And uh, I know there's guys who come out here and fish nothing but, but monofilament. I don't know how they do it. Just because you don't have the sensitivity, these fish 
on these jig heads they're not really pounding it they're just kind of there so uh, it's a real subtle bite nothing like what it was on the 52 MR so uh, boy use braid if you don't generally use it think about switching over and uh, very very important as well for this deep jigging is to use a medium heavy rod uh, you want something that's that's stiff and, and that will allow you to feel those bites when I was fishing the 52 MR I was using actually a light action rod because you want that rod to give so those treble hooks don't pull out it's very very important but uh, when you're fishing deep jigging you definitely want to use a much heavier stiffer rod